Griddle Master. Cooking up the good stuff. Hey, Griddle Master Joe here with you. So we had a little bit of technical difficulties. I was filming by myself. I didn't have David with me today. And we had three cameras. And anyway, the food was phenomenal. So I didn't want to not pass up letting you see how you could deep fry on the griddle master griddle top and we did the crab rangoon and as you could see it is phenomenal it tasted great so i just wanted to i didn't want to not give you that video and we have more to come we have some egg rolls we have some beef with broccoli all done on the griddle top so i hope you enjoy what we have look i'm, I'm showing you where we do our video editing from we have a bunch of toys, but anyway, let's get to the food. Let's get cooking. Hey, Griddle Master Joe here with you today. We are going to do Crab Rangoon. So, you know, you go into the Oriental places, you know, I'll, I'll talk to you in a minute. Let's, let's get the ball rolling. I'm taking off. Uh, I haven't filmed in like six weeks. Um, so I'm taking off my G Shield. This does great, especially for South Florida. You can see the griddle top. It keeps it all, keeps the weather off of. You oil it, I could still see a little bit of oil all around, but it keeps the, the humidity, the salty air off the griddle top. So let me turn the griddle on. Now, um, Actually, I only need I only need three burners today because what we're going to be making with the crab rangoon, I'm going to be deep frying. So I have my pot. I'm going to wipe this oil off. So there's only a couple times that Griddle Master Joe actually cooks on high and the, the one main time is when I am going to be deep frying. Cause we could put a, a, uh, a pot, a pan, you know, whatever you have. I, I recommend a, a big surface. Let me get my trash can. Everyone always asks me, do you have a drain? Do you have, what do you do with the trash? There's my trash can, it's a bowl and it works phenomenally. Then I could just go dump it in the trash and I'm done. So you want a, a, a pot that has a big diameter to, to occupy where the burners are. So I'm gonna do it like that. I'm gonna take my oil And while I make the crab rangoon, it's going to allow the oil to get up to temperature. We want to be about 350 degrees. And I'm not going to go real deep. Remember, the crab rangoons are only like about that tall. So all I need is about that much oil. So I'll put that much in for right now and see, see how it does. So get into the recipe. Make sure, unless, you, unless you're really motivated, I bought egg rolls sheets and you have wonton sheets. Usually when you do crab rangoon, you're, you do wonton, but I'm gonna do egg roll. I wanna see how it turns out. But the reason why I'm doing egg roll is because I'm also going to be filming later on today. Can you get my hat? I'm going to be filming on later on today egg rolls. And so I, I bought a whole big pack of them. And so I was like, you know what? I, I'm curious how I, I prefer the egg roll uh, wrapper than the wonton. So I'm going to see how it turns out for the crab rangoon. So we have cream cheese, a whole thing of cream cheese. I did a whole package of imitation crab. That's the frustrating part. You go to the Chinese restaurants 
and you get crab rangoon, it might as well just be cream cheese with crab juice. They don't put crab in them, or if they do, they put, okay, there's your crab, and that's broken out into 10 crab rangoons. I have one scallion that I minced up real fine, and then I have a tablespoon of Worcestershire, and that's it. So, and then we mix this all up and we bind it all together. Okay, so some people put sugar in there, but I'm not going to because you could do plum sauce, duck sauce, soy sauce, um, sweet and sour sauce when you dip it. Typically it's sweet and sour sauce, which is sweet. So I'm not going to double sweet these. So there's what it looks like. Let me do here. And you can see how this is getting hot. So like, like I said, there's only a couple times, maybe when I'm searing the a steak real hard, I want to hit it with real high temperature. I'll go on high, but I have this on high. And actually, you know what? If I put the lid on it, it might make it get hotter faster. Let's see, cause so we're going through the steel into the frying pan or the pot and we're going to get that to temperature so we want to get it to 350 and i am telling you this thing is is hot we're already at 470 480 and over here we're at 490 so right in that ballpark and again, that's what makes this so much, the consistency of the heat makes it everywhere consistently heated because we're only escaping on the left and right side, unlike some other griddle tops out there. But anyway, so I have a little bit of water with cornstarch. All right, so I have a little water with, for, with cornstarch. I have our stuff, and we want to set this like a triangle at us. We're going to put a little in here. Now, I haven't done this before, so I'm, I'm testing out the waters. I just know what I usually see, and it's not a whole lot. I think I should take it off this. I don't want these all sticking because I'm putting water on so a little water and cornstarch. We want to touch all the ends. All right. So we put it like a triangle. Touch them together. Touch these together. Wow. So this is way big. I think I need to cut them, but anyway, we just want them sealed up. There's one version. <laughs> Look at there. Well, I guess we have the camera here. Mm -hmm. That looks rough, but we'll see. Cut them in half. Well, if I cut them in half, I don't know if I need to cut them in half or cut them in fours.
get some help moving them. Okay, Mrs. Griddlemaster is going to come in because obviously Mr. Griddlemaster don't know jack about this. <laughs> it's making a mess. Oh, that way. This is how I usually have crab and crab rangoon. They're these cute little, cute little pockets. They're just sealed like this. And I don't know if you can use a fork or if I can pinch them. No, just pinch them. Don't do a fork. Like this? Yeah. No, we'll just touch them together, not no. not overlap them. Oh, okay. So that way they stay sealed. But I'm gonna do some like like this too. Okay. That way people can see Mrs. Gr or I'm sorry, it's Melissa, Melissa. I'm supposed to call her Melissa by her name. No. Somebody called. Somebody called, and they said. Your wife is so pretty. He said, I want to kiss you. No, that's not what he said. No. He said, he said, she's a person. You need to call her by her name. I said, well, I'm a person too, but I'm Griddle Master Joe. Oh, see, I got Joe. So Mrs. Griddle Master Lisa. Melissa. Her name is actually spelled M-E Lisa. So it's me, Lisa. All right, let me see how the temperature's going while. This says we're at 300, so we're almost there. Whew, that's hot. All right, I'm not going to do too many because I don't want the oil to cool off. I'm getting another tray. Oh, I don't want to touch that. We're making these into griddle master portions. Whoa, they look beautiful. Maybe? No. Are they doing okay? Yeah. You don't want them to cook too long because they'll start to boil and then it'll break the wonton or the egg roll. So, what's the difference between an egg roll wrap and a wonton wrap? The word. <laughs> no, they're thinner. Yes. Which one's thinner? The wonton. Look at that beautiful thing. Okay, I like your way better. Okay. D wait, did I just say that on film? Yes. Oh, I That's said right. that on film. I'm going to have to hear about that forever. <laughs> so this is working out really well. I told y'all you could deep fry on the Griddle Master Griddle Top. The bigger the, the surface that you could occupy, the better. Just gets more heat. And again, 10 minutes, you can't, I mean, that's, that's fine. I'm, I can't wait to try these, but... Look how fast we're banging these out, and Mrs. Griddlemaster's banging them out. Oh yeah, this I 
like the, the triangles. Yeah. This one's cute that I did, but like tried to make what you were making, but it's better. How do you know that one's yours and not mine? <laughs> you notice how she said the one I did. Yes. Oh, I lost one. Like Rudolph in the, in the show. I cute. <laughs> Wait, but how do you know that? Oh, I know how you know that's yours. It is yours. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I love crab rangoons, but they are so loaded with calories. So if you're trying to watch your weight, not be here. Be I, careful how many you eat. Wait, I didn't put any. I, I, there was that wasn't in the, in the ingredients. What was it? No calories. There's no calories. I put cream cheese, <laughs> and, chives or not chives, um, green onion, and crab, crab and Worcestershire sauce. No calories. Okay. So, crab rangoon, on a griddle master griddle top. In just minutes, literally, not even 20 minutes were we doing this, I think, from start to finish. And we made, I don't know how many is over there, plated it up, uh, but look how many. Ten. Ten's on the plate. Okay. And there's at least probably another, looks like around at least 18. And so you can. Oh, yeah. And we, she ate a bunch. No, no. Anyway, we are, um, we're thankful that you're watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, Diane, hey Diane, Diane called Griddle Master Joe because we hadn't filmed in a while. And Diane was like, I missed you. Where have you been? I just want to make sure you're okay. You know, it's those special calls that I get from y'all that are just so precious to me. And... Mrs. Griddlemaster, you know, she doesn't talk to me anyway. So Diane called and she talked to me for like 20 minutes. So that was awesome. Oh, okay, she does talk to me. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you talked enough of both of us. I would say I want to kiss you, but you have a bunch of yellow. Wait till you see it. And I'm sweaty. What can I say? Anyway. Glad you guys um, joined in. Hope you enjoy it. Make this. This is real easy to do. And even if you didn't have a griddle top, you could still deep fry, do it on your stove top. Griddle Master Joe, Mrs. Griddle Master Melissa, and she, you have opportunity to talk right now. Cooking up the good stuff. Oh yeah, cooking up the good stuff. Oh, wait, wait. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. Don't forget to ring that bell. David's not here to tell me. And I almost forgot and he would have chewed me out. Dad! So anyway, don't forget to do all that stuff. If you would subscribe, that would really help. It's, it's great, that way you get notified by ringing that bell, get notified every time we put a new video out. All right, see ya.